What's up YouTube? I'm John Wheels and today we're going to be putting a torque converter or CVT on my Coleman CT200U mini bike. So we got the uh, frame primed and painted in red. Uh, it's a little bit different, but close enough to where I don't think it really matters. Uh, you can tell a little bit of a difference there. Okay, so now we're gonna make some uh, engine risers. I have uh, the right size pieces marked out. Let's cut them. Okay, so I got these uh, engine risers made. Uh, the reason I didn't just get one inch spacers is because I already had these and I didn't have to spend any money. If you look here, the uh, total of the square tubing and the flat bar totals one inch, so that should make the uh, engine raise up just enough for the torque converter to clear the frame. Okay, so I got the uh, engine bolted down. I have uh, some pretty nice clearance uh, where I can keep this stock muffler. I got my shaft adapter uh, from 5 eighths to 3 quarters. These down, these are the spacers. So like quarter inch plate and then 3 quarter inch um, square tube. And then I cut some little uh, pipe to uh, fit in there to keep it from crushing. Um, I got the throttle hooked up, but uh, it barely twists. That's idle, that's full throttle. So uh, it's kind of like an on off switch. I think it'll be fine for now, but I'm gonna order a um, another throttle kit to where I can get the full motion. Uh, hook the kill switch back up.
got the torque converter all installed, the chain aligned, the pulleys aligned. I was able to like space out some washers down there to get the belt to ride straight and everything. Um, so yeah, uh, you can see everything's nice and straight back there. Um, adjusted the chain so it's nice and tight. Um, and uh, yeah, let's take it on a ride. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Stay tuned for the next episode where we work on the engine.